An Indiana woman is now charged with kidnapping after her son was found abandoned on the side of the road in Ohio last week. Well, police here arrested Heather Atkins on an unrelated charge in Scott County over the weekend. And today she sat down with the Evening Edition's Kristen Edwards for a jailhouse interview. And Kristen, what does she have to say? Well, Larry, she said she takes responsibility for what happened to her son, but when she tries to explain why he was found wandering alone last week, she gave two conflicting stories. Heather Adkins says she takes responsibility after her young son with nonverbal autism was found abandoned on the side of a dark, dead-end street in Ohio. It's an incident that has left both friends and family upset and confused. It feels like a nightmare. I mean, I love my daughter. I'm her mother, but I love my grandchildren too. And I don't know what set this off. I really don't. Did you abandon your son in Ohio? No, I left him with um, Patty. That's where he wanted to be. She says Patty is her friend who lives in Indiana. When I pressed her asking how he ended up by himself in Ohio, she changed her story. He waited in the car so that I wouldn't get so he. I had to wait in the car because I ran out of gas and I had to go forward to get help when it was the middle of the night and I didn't have a phone or anything to call for help and I knew the car was the safest place for him to be. But you just said that you left him with Patty, so which, which is it? Did he leave this car alone or did you leave him with Patty? He left the car alone. When asked why she didn't take her son with her to get help, she says she was worried for his safety. She admits it was the wrong choice. I should have known better being known better to do to do what? What would you have done differently? I would have kept him with me the entire time. She says it's all her fault, but that she doesn't deserve to be in jail, that she deserves a second chance. Meanwhile, a kidnapping charge waits for her back in Ohio. She says she has no intention of willingly facing that charge, that she will fight extradition. No, I don't plan on going back there. In court earlier this afternoon, Adkins was assigned a lawyer from the public defender's office. They also set a court date for an extradition hearing. It's going to be March 8th at in Scott County. At that time, she could fight extradition or agree to go back to Ohio. Larry. All right, Kristen Edwards.